Okay guys, welcome back to Crypto Kingdom 78. We're going to do a how-to video on crypto.com. I just want to help people out um, to the, that are uh, obviously new to crypto, having some problems just getting Binance Smart Chain on Trust Wallet, just to be able to buy the BEP20s that I show on the videos. This will obviously be for new people that you know maybe haven't bought crypto before. So what I like to do and the reason why I like crypto.com is when you have your balance on crypto.com, you can make your sale and transfer as one transaction. Back in the day, a lot of these, you'd have to sell your Bitcoin, get your fiat, and then rebuy what you want. Uh, Crypto.com allows you just to choose during the one transaction, which you, uh, you know, what you want to get when you sell it automatically. It's just instant. One turns into the other, which I like. It's like a swap exchange all in one and a sell. So that's what I like about it. There's a few others that do this. I just like this. It's easy for me to see. Nice and clear, easy to use. So you want to pick that little lion logo, bottom blue here in the middle, and then you go to crypto wallet. Now I had um, Bitcoin about half an hour ago, but since they added Authy on here, it's a pain in the butt to, um, I got to minimize the screen because crypto.com seems to restart me fresh into crypto.com every time. And I've got to get that code to get the, um, you know, without exiting right out. So I've got to minimize it on the screen to get that Authy code for the second pin for the F uh, 2FA, I guess it's called. And uh, so right now, let's say you had Bitcoin. Well, I have BNB because I had Bitcoin. You just click the BNB. And then when you go to sell, I like to click the token or coin first. And then I, I like to sell within it. When you hit sell, the check mark is going to come up on Crow automatically because it's up at the top. That means whatever you're selling, when you sell your max BNB, just hit this, hit max. It's telling me that it wants to turn it into Crow because that's where the check mark is. So if you want to do this in one transaction, sell a BNB and end up with Bitcoin, just move the check mark down. And there's not too many limits. Like you can go Bitcoin to Ethereum, uh, BNB to Ethereum. Like I like it where you don't have to kind of go from one to the other, but it's fast. You don't have to wait for a transaction. It's, it's literally instant. So I already have the BNB. Now this isn't smart chain BNB. This is regular BNB. So I'm going to go to transfer, withdrawal, external wallet, and there's my address. Now I've copied that. I will show you back how I did that. But I copied this, so we're gonna go back out, go over to Trust Wallet. See, Trust Wallet, when you load Trust Wallet, takes you to the last page you were on, if you, unless you were you know, gone for like probably an hour or half hour, whatever the timeout is. So I like that, where crypto.com restarts you, which is a pain. So anyways, go to receive, because we're receiving in BNB. And make sure you're on BNB, not Smart Chain. Copy that address. Go back to crypto.com. I got to be careful doing this so that I don't minimize it because I've got to get to Authy without exiting completely out of crypto.com. So I'm going to go back over here, crypto wallet. And then, like I said, I like to pick it just so I get the right one going to the right spot. BNB for BNB. Hit transfer and then click on withdrawal. External wallet. There's my address. Hit withdrawal. Go down here. Hit max. Hit withdrawal. Hit confirm, put in my first pin, and now the next one's the pain, the 2FA. I've got to really go small here, get it on the screen, and then wait for my new Authy, where is it here? Wait for my new Authy code. So I got to go to crypto.com because that's the wallet we're in. Now there's no panic to hurry right now. You just don't want to minimize out of crypto.com, but there's no hurry to get back into crypto.com. I'm not getting timed so much as I am waiting for the new Authy code. If I did that one right there, it wouldn't work. It's to get a new one. So I've got to be very careful putting that up. And then I got to go back to crypto.com. So I got that code. So you go again back in here, get the code, scroll down very slow, put it in. Hit continue. Wait for the results. Okay, so it's been re it's been received and requested. So like I said, it's more of just if you're using an Android or iOS or whatever you're using, you can't, at least in my experience, unless somebody's you know 10 times smarter than me and figured this out, I just haven't had the time to figure it out. It doesn't let me, when I minimize out of um, you know our closedcrypto.com, it launches me back. It doesn't take me back to where I was just at. Hey, where did my withdrawal... Uh page go you know where uh, I just put that in there like where why are you putting me back to the home and I got to restart again because my finger slipped off and I and I closed it down so now I've got my trust so I've received it there's my trust where I've received it okay
So now we know we have it in BNB. Now I had some in here before. I don't know how much. Oh, this is regular BNB. I have some smart chain already. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to go to D apps. Okay. We're going to go to pancake swap. Make sure that we have everything that we want in here. <clears throat> so I have BNB and then you're going to say, okay, max, just wait for it to be loading. And then you're going to say, this is for new, like, again, this is for new uh, people that are just, you know, new to crypto. So you're going to say, Max, wait a minute, I got more BNB than that. Now, because we're on smart chain, you're going to say, oh, we missed a step. So you're going to go back into your wallet, find your BNB that just came over. Okay, 500. I got quite a few tokens on this, but I have another account that I use. This one's just for playing around with. Okay, find your BNB. Here's your, here's your BNB. Okay, there's the balance. Sometimes you just got to scroll down and refresh it. So there's the balance. So it cost me like 14 bucks. Not a big deal. We'll make it back. So you want to hit the more because this is not ready yet for pancake swap. You want to hit the more and then you want to go to smart, uh, swap to smart chain. And then all you have to do is just hit 100%. That way, you know, obviously you don't have to do 100% or put in the amount and then hit swap. The fee is usually like $1.30 to $1.80 and then hit confirm. Once it's confirmed, this little guy will pop up with a double thumbs up. Done. Now you're going to say, okay, that's great. We're going to go back into, just exit out of here, go back into Pancake Swap up here at the top. And now when you go to your BNB, it should be, you know, reflect your balance. Like I think about 700 US dollars I have right now. Okay, 1.53. So it's whatever 1.53 is. It's like, uh, yeah, 700 or something, 720 uh, USD approximately. And then you're just going to simply plug in the contract address of what you want right in here. So you'd get, you know, depending on like, if you've done it already, balances are gonna show up. Like I have a couple different trust wallets, but balances will show up that, you know, and tokens that you've already used before. And that's simply how to get, just a simple how-to video of how to get smart chain. Now you can do that from any wallet over to trust wallet. It didn't have to be crypto.com. I just like the fact if you started off with Bitcoin, and you want to flip your Bitcoin, you can just flip it or swap it, exchange it in one shot when you're selling it. That's why I like, um, you know, that's why I like crypto.com. So like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video and we'll, uh, we'll buy some SafeMoon with this BNB. All right. Thanks, guys.